Like I said, this is a play test. I've never done this before, so thank you for bearing with me. So that's four out of 40, which is only 10%. Their morale, they will have to make a check against excess casualties at 33%, in which case they'll need a six plus on two dice to stay on the board. Now, they'll get to make the rest of their move. They've gone seven. this hill which will protect them from these crossbows. That is the movement phase. The artillery now gets to fire. Now this is kind of fun. Um, the blue obviously cannot shoot. The red can. Range is 30 inches. Here. That is going to include really anyone. Uh, they do, however, want to go after the knights. So we're going to go ahead and take a shot at the knights. So what we do is move it well within 30 inches. And our target location. It's going to be the center of this dot of this marker. We'll put there, we'll put this right on the right in the middle of this unit. We roll a d6, and that will determine the scatter. It's five, so it's going to land there, which is going to be right between these two. So the hits theoretically will come in and hit both of those stands. This, uh, this lovely tool. This is our gauge, our stencil for determining uh, where it hits. So what we do is you have to declare long or short. Um, obviously I'm going to try for short so that I can possibly hit some of these guys as well, which means that that's our direction. Is. Okay, all right. So uh, let's say the range is you know, 24. Let's go with that. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 4. That's the range we're going to shoot from. So that will put us. Okay, yeah, right, right where I put this. Okay. It's a 5, so it'll land there. And we take this and we'll put the green dot on the five. And because we called short, it's going to hit everything up to that point, and then it's going to bounce, and then it'll hit everything in the white zone here as well. So the knights get missed. However, however, they will be hit. And that is actually going to take out this entire stand. We're just going to remove that one. The 
second cannon. We'll fire, let's say, uh, let's crank that back to 20 inches. And 20 inches, Son of the Knights. For scatter. That's a four. That's going to put us right on target. And then our hit will be twenty inches. That would just barely strike two of those horsemen. That will be two more Now, morale for excess hits on the heavy cavalry, they are at 50%, and then they need a six plus in order to remain on the field. So they'll be able to take a full eight hits before they need to make a morale check. So they're in pretty good shape. So that's the red artillery, and now we have the missile fire blue crossbowmen have a 90 degree field of fire. They'll be able to shoot at one stand, six of those. Yep, they're all within that. So that is 32 firing at half armor, so we're going to roll three dice, and and it's the same either way. One to three is three casualties, and four to six is three casualties. So we have three casualties. Um, three. There. Now the heavy infantry, they have a morale, uh, or a check for excess casualties at 33%, so they'll need to, again, there, since there are 30, uh, 30 of them, 5 times 6 is 30, they'll need to lose 10 before they have to make a morale check. And that'll be the end of that turn, and then we'll have an initiative again. So for the blue team is a 4, and for the red team is a 6. So this time the red team gets to go first. Obviously, neither of these are going to move because the crossbows want to be able to shoot again. The heavy infantry can charge 12 inches. And I have a feeling they'll be able to charge them, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And then our cavalry is going to make its way around here. And uh, I don't think they'll be able to actually... Well, their charge is 24, so they might be able to make it around. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to charge heavy infantry into the armored infantry. And our charge range is 12 inches. Definitely within range. For this cavalry, the way I've always done it before, is for wheeling around, you measure from the far corner, because 
they're wheeling around that point. We have a 24 inch move, which definitely they can make it around and everybody can reach that. So they're going to ride around the hill and charge into these folks here. Now, because they came more than half of their move, the crossbowmen will be able to get a shot. There are 32 crossbowmen firing at half armor, so that's going to be, again, three dice. So that'll be 16, they're in two ranks. And again, so it doesn't matter. Either way, it's going to be three casualties. I don't even know why I'm rolling. So they'll take three casualties. Again, their break point also is 33%, and they need a 7 plus. So that brings us to artillery fire. Now, Blue artillery can shoot. Red artillery doesn't really have a target unless I want to fire these folks. However, I don't want to hit my own troops. And the way it works is it'll hit anything up to that point and then it'll bounce. So we're going to not shoot with the red team. The blue team, however, is going to fire at the missile troops from the other side. And we're going to call, let's say, 16 inches. And then we'll go for scatter. Four, so that's going to be straight on. We're going short, of course. So we'll use our template. And that will miss the crossbows, but it will strike the cannons. And we'll take them out. Second shot. We're going to go for... Uh, we'll go for 15. 14. We're going to go for 14 inches. And we're going to shoot long. Right there. And that's a six. Ugh. All right, well, that takes us off there. So there will be no damage anyone since that's off in that direction so that shooting moderately ineffective these folks have done their pass through shooting now they're in melee these folks don't have any art uh, shooting nor do they and they're also trapped in here they cannot move so it's now time for melee 